everybody. My name is Leslie Rainey and I am here with Purple Carrot to throw some things on the grill this summer. I am so excited today because we are not only throwing some things on the grill, but we are also pairing an awesome brunch cocktail with a black bean burger. We're all gonna head out on the boat in a little while and I am so excited to take you through the burger, the Bloody Mary, and the boat ride at the end. So all we have here is two cups of tomato juice, a tablespoon of Worcestershire, vegan Worcestershire sauce, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of celery salt. This is three tablespoons of horseradish and I am just going to whoop, plop that right in there. The theme of this episode is to add a little spice. So our Bloody Mary, we're gonna spice it up. It's gonna be awesome with a couple of dashes of Tabasco sauce. I had a leftover half of a lime and I never wanna waste food. So all I'm gonna do is squeeze this leftover lime into my jar. And then I'm gonna stir this up. At the end of the episode, I will show you how to glass and plate per se your Bloody Mary to go with your cheddar mushroom black bean burger. To go alongside with the black bean burger, we're gonna make some carrot fries. So that's what the recipe calls for. I am going to add okra. I'm gonna make some okra fries to go with my carrot fries. I'm going to start by getting my carrots ready to go in an aluminum foil boat that's gonna go on the grill behind me. I am cutting the top off and then I'm going to cut my carrot into a couple of pieces. We want fry-like shapes. So the bottom can pretty much stand on their own, but the top, you're gonna wanna cut in half. For the okra, I'm just gonna cut these guys right in half here. I just have a piece of aluminum foil here. I'm going to add my cut vegetables to my boat here. This is always a secret ingredient. People ask me, what do you never live without in your kitchen? And it's lemon. I know that's simple, but you always, always, always wanna add an acid to whatever you're cooking. I'm adding salt. And then I'm gonna put some olive oil on these veggies as I put them on the grill. While my fries cook behind me, I am going to prepare the sauteed mushrooms and onions that are going to go on top of the black bean burger. All I'm gonna do, start off by slicing some baby bella mushrooms. With that, I'm going to also saute half of this onion. I am going to peel this half and thinly slice it. and then I'm going to caramelize the onions and the mushrooms together. Something to think about when you're cooking with mushrooms and onions is mushrooms release water, and the longer onions cook, the sweeter and more delicious that they are. The water from the mushrooms are going to release, they're gonna soften the onions, and then as everything dries together, they're gonna to caramelize into a really nice mixture for us. My mushrooms and my onions are cooking beautifully behind me. My carrot and okra fries are crisping up very nicely. And so now it's time to make the meat of things, my black bean burger. I have one can of drained, rinsed black beans here. I have my half of onion and I am going to mince and dice this onion and add it to my burger mixture. Other components of this black bean burger are two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of fajita seasoning, and I'm going to just add a little bit more salt. I'm going to mince my garlic here. Adding my garlic into the mixture. I'm going to take my ring off so I don't get a bunch of burger goo on it and build these burgers with my hands. When you are making these black bean burgers, really crush the beans with your hands and make it as 
as gooey as you can. That's gonna really help these stick together. I start my burgers out in balls. That's a way for me to make sure that I'm getting a really even size on everything. This is the fun part. Just take your hands and press your burger down. You can use you can use your hands to reshape them, but this guarantees that you get a round burger and everything is a pretty even size. I've added a cast iron grill pan to my grill. The reason that I'm doing that is because working with veggie burgers is a little bit difficult on a small grill like this with a wide grate. These guys, they might fall apart and I really don't wanna risk that. So I'm gonna get my char marks from the grates in the grill pan, but I'm also gonna get the smoky flavor of actually cooking on the grill behind me. I'm going to make an aioli with a vegan mayonnaise, but I am also going to use that vegan mayonnaise to toast my buns. And then I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of the mayo into my bowl here. Peeling my last clove of garlic. I'm going to add three fourths of the garlic to the aioli. The theme of this episode is add a little heat. So I think I'm gonna add some chili powder to my aioli. I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder here, adding that to my aioli mixture. Also going to add a little bit of salt and mix this all together. I have my mushrooms and my onions off the grill. They smell amazing. They're gonna taste delicious. I've got my burger buns toasting behind me. I have my burger patties as well. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of vegan cheddar cheese on top of each patty and then I'm going to top it with my mushrooms and onions, a little bit of aioli, and serve it next to my fries. Look how nice and toasted these beautiful potato buns are. It's burger time. Look at these beautiful black bean cheddar burgers. Now I'm going to build my whole plate and my Bloody Mary after. Then I'm gonna take you guys on a little boat ride to tell you how everything tastes at the end. Let's finish up these Bloody Marys so we can make sure we have something cool and refreshing to eat with our spicy meal. In my Bloody Mary cup here, I have one piece of okra and then I have some marinated watermelon. I think the watermelon's gonna help cut some of that spice, but it's also gonna add some cool flavors to the Bloody Mary. I'm doing a tequila Bloody Mary. So I am adding two ounces of tequila to both of my cups and then going to top my drink with this awesome Bloody Mary mixture that we made. Why don't you guys follow me downstairs and I can tell you how everything tastes as we enjoy the water. It's been a morning of cooking, but I am going to enjoy an awesome brunch on the boat with my Add a Little Spice Bloody Mary and my grilled black bean burgers. Let's see how everything tastes. That Bloody Mary mix is amazing. Now for the best part, the I need another bite, it's so good. This meal is awesome. It's great for the afternoon, it's great for the morning. It's great if you're having a bunch of people over. I'm gonna enjoy it on the boat. Thank you so much for watching with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please follow Purple Carrot on YouTube. If you wanna check out what I'm doing outside of Purple Carrot and videos with you guys, follow me on Instagram, Outside the Husk. Have a beautiful day. Bye guys.